Hello there and welcome to this series of videos going through the content of A Level Further Maths. Here we're looking at some slightly harder expressions relating to the roots of polynomials so we can answer questions from exercise 4D. Now what we've seen in both in all three of our quadratics, cubics and quartics is we've seen how to find the some of the single roots, some of the double roots, some of the triple roots and the quad root um, for quartics as well. Um, we saw in the first video that we can also be asked to find um, the sum of the reciprocals, so we could be asked to find um, this value here. Now what they will ask is a question like this, but you have to be able to understand that it's probably best to transfer the problem into this type of problem here. So whenever you're asked to find the value of the sum of the reciprocals, then the best thing to do is to add all of the reciprocals together and then it will simplify to make um, an expression that you can find the value of the top of and the bottom of. In this case here, this one's going to be minus b over a over and then this one here is going to be c over a. In this case here, this is the sum of the doubles. So on the top, this is going to be um, c over a and on the bottom, it's the sum of the triples. So it's going to be minus d over a. And for the last one here, it's going to be the sum of the triples, that's minus d over a. And then it's going to be divided by the quad one, that's e over a. So there's not one um, constant formula to work out the sum of the reciprocals in each of the different quadratic, cubic and quartic forms. You just have to rely on the fact that you should um, add the roots together and then there'll be a formula to summarise the numerator and the, and the denominator. Uh, we've also seen here the sum of the quadratics, so um, quadratic quad roots, no you don't, don't want to say quad roots, yeah, that sounds like four, so some of the squared roots, um, so um, alpha squared plus beta squared or alpha cubed plus beta cubed, um, so we could be asked to square or cube our roots here, and the, the best place to start is just by um, having alpha plus beta inside a bracket and squaring it and then thinking about what you have to take away to leave you just with this expression here. In this case here it's alpha plus beta cubed and then um, then we've got minus 3 alpha beta, there'll be a formula for that, that will be c over a and times by alpha plus beta and that will be at minus beta b over a. So there's always a formula that you can summarise um, anything that you're looking for or that, you, that you're asked. Okay. So how could we use um, for the cubic expression alpha plus beta plus gamma squared, how can we find an expression for um, alpha squared plus beta squared plus gamma squared? Start by expanding three brackets and group together each of the different parts. So we're going to have alpha squared plus beta squared plus gamma squared plus two lots of the sum of the doubles. So in this case here we can generate a formula which is the sum of the squares in a cubic is equal to the sum of the roots squared minus two times the sum of the doubles. Okay, so you can either remember this or you can just remember the fact that it's something to do with the sum of the singles being squared and then some adjustment needs to be made and there's probably going to be a formula for that adjustment as well. Okay, so in part B here we're going to have to use what we've done before. A cubic is given um, alpha and beta and gamma. The sum of the doubles is equal to 7. Sum of the single roots is equal to minus 3. Find the value of alpha squared plus beta squared plus gamma squared. Well, just apply your formula that you've got here. Minus 3 squared, which is the sum of the singles, and then you square it, because that's what it does in the formula. And then minus 2 times 7. So the sum of these squares is minus 5. Okay. Um, so the sum of the squares um, expression is going to be this in cubics and it's going to be very similar in, quad in quartics as well. So it's the sum 
of the roots squared minus 2 times the sum of the doubles. Okay, there's going to be a lot more doubles in that expression. How could we prove this? Well, we could expand alpha plus beta plus gamma plus delta squared, and then this expression here would be moved onto the other side, so you just reflect it backwards to prove this theorem. Rules for cubes, well, this is slightly different. Um, if you were to expand alpha plus beta cubed, then you would get alpha cubed minus 3 alpha beta um, times an alpha minus another 3 alpha beta times another beta, which you can factorize together, and then plus beta cubed. The formula for the cubes is this one here. Um, fortunately, the sum of the cubes for of a quartic is not required. Um, so that's nice and easy there. But the way that I would remember it is not by these formulas here is just by expanding alpha plus beta plus gamma cubed and then seeing how we can um, simplify what we've got left over. Okay. So the three roots of a cubic equation are alpha, beta and gamma. Alpha, beta, gamma equals 4. Some of the doubles equals minus 5. Some of the singles equals 3. Find the value of alpha plus 3, beta plus 3, gamma plus 3. Well, I think the easiest way to do this would just be to expand the brackets, simplify different parts of the expression back together. We've got an alpha, beta, gamma. We've got 3 times the sum of the doubles. And we've got 9 times the sum of the singles, plus 27 at the end. So substituting your values for these, and we get a final answer of 43. All right, then, so your turn to have a go at this question here then. Pause the video and try them out. All right, then, so in this cubic expression here, we have A equals 1, B equals minus 6, C equals 9, and D equals minus 15. Write down the value of alpha, beta plus, alpha plus, beta plus gamma, some of the doubles and the triple. Okay, so this is a nice standard part A. So alpha plus beta plus gamma is equal to minus B over A. Some of the singles is always equal to minus B over A. So this is equal to 6 over 1, which is 6. Great. Uh, the sum of the doubles, which I'll write in this form here, is equal to C over A as it always is, 9 over 1, so that's just 9, and then alpha, beta, gamma is equal to minus d over a, so that would be 15 over 1, so just 15. Okay, part b, part i, is to find the sum of the uh, reciprocals, so what we do there is we add them together, so by creating common denominators, it's going to be alpha, gamma over alpha, beta, gamma, so I'm just writing out this expression here with common denominators. Now what you'll see here is on the numerator it's going to be the sum of the doubles, which was 9. And on the bottom we saw it's just the, um, the triple one, so it's going to be 9 over 15. Nice and straightforward there. Okay, the sum of the squares, well, I can't quite remember the formula, so let's derive it. So alpha plus beta plus gamma all squared, that's going to equal alpha plus beta plus gamma, bracket alpha plus beta plus gamma. So expand the brackets, and we get alpha squared plus alpha beta plus alpha gamma plus alpha beta plus beta squared plus beta gamma, then it's uh, plus alpha gamma plus alpha, sorry, beta gamma plus gamma squared. So what I'm seeing here is that I've got two of each of the doubles, so it's take away, so it's going to be alpha plus beta plus gamma squared minus two lots of the doubles added together. 
is left over with alpha squared plus beta squared plus gamma squared. Okay, didn't take that long to prove it, but now I definitely know I'm using the right formula here. Let's carry on this top section of this page here. So carrying on, um, alpha plus beta plus gamma, the sum of the singles is six. So that's gonna be six squared minus two times the sum of the doubles, which is nine. So this is going to be 36 minus 18. The answer is 18 for that part. Okay, so it didn't take me that long to expand this and make sure I'm using the right formula. I suggest you do that instead of memorizing it. Uh, alpha minus 1, beta minus 1, gamma minus 1. Well, let's expand what we've got here and hopefully bits will simplify. So we're going to expand the first two brackets, alpha, beta, minus alpha minus beta minus plus one because of the double negative and then expand with the last one so it's alpha beta gamma minus alpha beta minus alpha gamma plus alpha minus beta gamma plus beta plus gamma minus one so group together strategically so we can apply our formulas now i've seen here that all of the doubles have been um, subtracted. So I'll put that inside a negative bracket. And then all of the singles are added in a positive way. And then we've got a minus one at the end. So what do we need? We need the sum of the triples or the triple, which is minus 15. So 15, then we subtract the sum of the doubles, which is nine. Then we add the sum of the singles, six, take away one. So this here is gonna be 15 take away nine is six, add another six, you get 12, minus one, you get 11. Okay, so that's the answer to this question 10 here. Um, what I would suggest you do is have a go at lots of different questions in exercise 4D. This is certainly recalling your memory of all of the different key facts or key formulas to do with quadratics, cubics, and cortics. Um, and don't shy away from the difficult questions as well. It's only in doing those difficult questions are you going to become a better mathematician, okay? So feel free to ask your, ask your teacher if you get stuck. And thanks very much for watching.